given trapezoid JKLM with JK parallel to ML, using a compass and straight edge, construct the altitude from vertex J down to ML. So what the question is really asking for us to do is to draw a line that's perpendicular to ML while passing through point J. The fact that JK is parallel to ML is really not that important to this problem. Um, so let's let's try to uh, let's try to uh, answer this question. The the app that I'm using does not have a uh, virtual compass and straight edge, so I will be narrating the steps um, that you need to take in order to uh, to fulfill this question. Uh, so what you're going to do this question here it's really asking whether or not you know how to apply the perpendicular bisector uh, for. Uh, for a situation where the, the perpendicular bisector has to pass through point J. So to accomplish this, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to create a line segment that we are going to bisect. So by how are we going to do that? You're going to take your compass. You're going to place your pin on point J, the red dot that I have there. You're going to open up the compass so that the lead is on point M. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw an arc like so. So what you're doing now is this point over here, that intersection there, okay, the distance from that intersection to point J, that is going to be equal in distance to the, um, as, as distance from M to J. What you're going to do next is, since point J is equal in distance to those two intersections there, we're going to find out another point on the perpendicular bisector because the whole idea behind a perpendicular bisector is all the points on the perpendicular bisector will be equal in distance to the endpoints of a given line segment. You're going to keep the compass setting the way it is. You're going to place your pin now on point M, place the pin on point M, pin on point M. And with the same compass setting, do not alter it, you're going to make a marking like so. Let me do a little better job at that, so it's going to look something like this. And you're going to then pick up your compass Place your pin now on the other point of intersection, right there, and you are again going to make a similar mark, like so. So now the this point here is going to be again equal in distance from the endpoints. So both of these points, point J and this point that we've just re uh, just found, they're both lying on the perpendicular bisectors and then you're going to take your straight edge and you're going to draw yourself a, a line. Let me draw, do a little better. You're going to draw yourself a vertical line. Well, you're going to draw yourself a line connecting the two points of intersections there. And this is going to be your altitude. This line will bisect those two I mean, the, that um, line segment that we formed, and will also be perpendicular to it. 